So how's it going? Tell us about uh, how you're feeling in camp and, and all the stuff going on so far. Yeah, I feel good. Um, I'm sure most guys have reiterated the same message. I think it's been a pretty upbeat atmosphere, pretty upbeat, uh, upbeat camp. Everyone's uh, seems to be in a really, really positive mindset, which is nice. Um, everyone's looking forward to the season. I think uh, you know when you come to the rink and there's a there's a great energy about that excitement for each day and for that first game is a good feeling. And that's what we have. What What do you notice are the obvious changes from one coaching staff to another? You have played for a number of different coaches now. But you know, going from last year to this year, what perhaps the last year was such a strange year. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but the the difference. Yeah, um good question. I think um I think the number one thing is the systems are a lot simpler. I think um it's not rocket science what we're doing out there. It's just about executing it. I think it creates a little bit less thinking for us out there. Um I mean even from the first game we had the other night, what he expects and demands on the bench isn't isn't anything no one's capable of. It's keep pucks out of the middle, keep it, ch chip it in, chip it out. Um, don't beat yourselves and support the puck. And I think, other than that, I think it's go out there and play kind of. And um, you know, I think that takes a lot of the thinking out of the game for guys. Lets our instincts instincts take over. And I think our team is a team with great instincts. And I think when we when we're able to do that within the system that he's put in place, that's when uh, we have a chance to be successful. I don't know if you can tell this by camp when there's still so many people here, but is there a difference in? Just the communication, I mean, is, he in the, is, is the uh, head coach in the room more or less than, than David might have been or other guys? Is, is there a difference there? Yeah, less. Um, you, can't, you don't really see him around the rink. You see him on the ice. Um, he runs the practice. Him and his staff have done a good job being you know, pretty organized, quick on the ice. And then that's it, and you don't see him. So it's, uh, it's a little bit different, but you know, everyone's got their own style, right? And um, you know, guys respond differently, but... Um, so far, it's been good. I think. I think the good thing about the way it's the way it is right now, it's, it puts a little bit more ownership on us. I think um, you know the older guys have a more responsibility to you know make sure things are guys are doing the right things. Um, we've got a great leadership group that leads by example. I mean, if you look in the gym today, there was a workout before practice. Every single guy is doing the workout. It's, we don't have to be pushed to do it. I think guys have done a great job of pushing each other and setting the tone. And, um, and we go on the ice, and he takes over, and it's been good. Is that keeping? things looser for you guys too? Yes and no. Like I said, everyone's got their style. I mean, to micromanage the way one guy does it versus another guy does it, it it's really, it's, there's no point really. I think it's just a matter of, uh, you know, responding to the way he coaches. He's the boss. Um, learn his tendencies, learn what he wants, what he's expecting in practice, and go out there and execute. I wanted to ask about the center group as a whole, because you got it down the middle. It looked the same for a couple of years now, you, Mika, Edel. Obviously, off-season, there's always rumors floating around and all that, but did, do you guys feel like you've been highly productive, and, and is there a little bit of a chip on your shoulder to kind of keep doing that year in, year out? I think there's a chip on all our shoulders to, to, to be successful. I think the biggest thing I've noticed this year, it's uh, I think you can really feel the vibe of the team. We've had a bunch of guys, like you said, that have been here together for a few years now, and we want to take that next step. I mean, it, like it's such a cliche, but like going home and watching the playoffs, it just sucks, right? I mean... And I think we have so much talent in that dressing room. And uh, I think this year we've gone out and added some intangibles and some parts. And, um, and we want to be in those games. So I think there's a chip on everyone's shoulder to prove people wrong. And, um, and that's the biggest thing I felt so far in camp. It's all, about, it's all about the team right now. It's all about getting to the playoffs. It's all about being as best we can be. And I think everyone's got that common goal. And that's, that's a really good sign. Yeah. One, one follow-up on that kind of, I don't know how much uh, you follow the ups, you know, Twitter stuff, all that, but all the talk about Eichel. Um, how did you react to that? I don't. I don't. Not at all. I actually don't really like go on it that much. I try to stay away as much as I can. I, especially during the season, don't read anything. Um, I think. Listen, it's a business. Whatever happens, happens. Um, guys, I think everyone in here has been traded before, other than a few guys, so we know what it's like. It's a, it's a business, but you know, we're confident in the guys we have, and if if there's a trade made, then we respond accordingly. I think. Like, again, I don't want to just harp home cliches here, but if you worry about that, it's just going to negatively have impact you, I think. Um, any attention that you draw um, about outside things you can't control, is just, it's just a waste of time and effort, I think. Um, playing in a market like New York, I think guys realize, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of that going on. There's a lot of pull, and, um, you know, the less you can, or the more you can block that out, the better. This is now year three that you, of you with Panarin, uh, presumably. You got a younger right wing now with you in the last couple of years. You had older, more veteran mm -hmm. guys. Um, 
what, how does that affect the dynamic? Good question. Um, honestly, it's just a matter of getting comfortable. I think we've been trying to do a better job in camp and the preseason games to be talking to each other more. Um, and I think, you know, honestly, I think it's a responsibility of, of me and Brett a little bit too to, um, to make things click too. I don't think it's just saying like, you know, Cap wants to click with us. I think, I think it's vice versa. And I think that's one thing that we've talked about is especially in the preseason. I, like I told them before the game, I'm like, when you get the puck, shoot it. Like, let's get confidence. Let's get, let's get a bit of a mojo going. Let's, let's feel it. And, um, I think he's got a little more jump in his step and, um, and learning where we want to be on the ice and where he needs to go and, and, and vice versa. And I think that, um, we just got to keep building on that day by day. I think, um, you know, the lines have already changed a little bit out there. So who knows what happens, but I think it's everyone's job to kind of make it work. And, um, you know, pretty good start so far and camps felt pretty good. And, um, I mean, I mean, you see the talent, I mean, there's so much talent. It's just a matter of, you know, finding each other and our tendencies. And, you know, that's, like I said, that's the responsibility of all of us, not just one person. You mentioned the next step as a team. Well, what do you feel like the next step for you as an individual is like, you know, you're a veteran, but, but I'm sure there's still ways you want to grow your game. So what's that look like for you? Yeah, I, honestly, I think just keep getting better. I had a good off season, feel really good. Um, I think as you get older, you understand what it takes for to be successful in this league individually and from a team standpoint. And I think for me, it's just continuing to harp on playing both ends of the ice strong. I think, um, you know, the production is going to be there, I think, um, the last few years. But if we want to take the next step of a team, I think we really got to buy in and, um, you know, whether it's the penalty kill or just bearing down on face-offs, little things like that. I think that those are the things that can, we can all work on and that we have worked on. And, and off the ice, just continue to grow as a leader. I think we've got a lot of young guys that are, you know, going to be very big parts of our team. And I think um, the more we can bring those guys along and, you know, m let them know that they're a huge part of this group, just going to make our team even better. Does it being a contract year enter into your mind? Does that have any extra fuel for you? No, not at all. Honestly, I, I've, I've had uh, my longest contract with my entry-level contract, so I've, uh, I'm used to what this is kind of like. So, um, you know, I, I love being a Ranger. I, I think I fit in great here. Um, I love the guys in this team. I, I care so much about about those guys and you know, whatever happens happens but I'm looking forward to the season I think um, we're all looking forward to taking that next step as a team I, you, I'm sure you can tell by the way everyone talks in these press conferences and and, and uh, in the practices everyone's really excited and uh, that's that's my focus. Jury, um, and, and then Ryan Reeves the other day, uh, they've all talked about how if you add those kinds of players say in the bottom six that it kind of liberates the top six a little bit you know paraphrase. As one of those players, is that is that a tangible effect when you have you know third and fourth line guys going out there playing hard and being tough to play against? Does that transfer to the top six? Do you get more space, or is that still something you need to do on your own? I think I think a little bit of both. I think you can you can't just sit back and say, oh, those guys are going to do that dirty work. You can't do it. But I think. I think it trickles down. I think you saw the effect of that line the other night, throwing some big hits and running around a little bit. And um, it's infectious. And those guys' energy, I mean, even Revo, like, you guys don't get to see it. But before the game, just firing everybody up and firing up the coaches and, and all the guys ready to go. And, you know, stuff like that, it's, it's not just the on-ice product and hitting. It's, you know, it's a total dynamic that those guys have added. And certain persona to those guys, good role, the guys that have won, they know what it takes. They know how to act, how to be professional. And I think it's, it's infectious. And it, it definitely rubs off on everybody, but at the same time, you can't just take it for granted and say, you know, those guys are hitting, we don't have to hit, or we don't have to play hard. I think it, it, it truly is a give and take. You gotta, you gotta adjust your game, and those guys are gonna set the tone for us. I think we've seen that so far. Do you think last year, uh, do you think analyzing last year it was kind of a one-off because of the schedule, or do you think that it was a fair representation, not only of your team, but you know, of, of the league? It's a good question. Um, I, I don't really know the answer because I've talked to so many guys and they say, like, I can't wait to play other teams because I don't really know, like, you play the same team seven times, it's like a, it's like a dog fight. You end up knowing the team so well. It's tough to get a read on that. It's, and it is a rare schedule. There's no fans. There's so many abnormals, abnormalcies. But, um, you know, I don't know. I guess we'll see this year. Really, we'll see how we grew from that. I think there's lessons to be learned from last year. There always is. Um, especially some of the games towards the end of the year, I think there's – a clear message that we learned and a, and a way we have to play. And um, I think we'll probably be able to answer your question better in 30, 40 games, see how we responded and you know, how, we, how we grew.